Hello saxophone students. Welcome back to another lesson. Today I'm going to be going over a band piece I'm going to be doing soon with my summer band called Creepy Crawlies. This piece is very exciting, not very challenging, but it's by Michael Story. And if you want to listen to the original version, look in the description below for a link. Um, today I will be starting by playing through the entire piece from beginning to end, and then I'll go over some instructions. So if you're just looking for the instruction of the piece, please go to the chapter down below in the description to jump to that. And I'm going to start now from the beginning, and I'm going to take it moderately bright, which is marked in the music. It says moderately bright. In my score, that says 116 beats per minute. So I'm going to take it that speed, and we're going to play it from the top all the way down through measure 48. Starts with some eighth notes on the E, E fingering, five fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two. Okay, great job if you were able to play that beginning to end. Now I'm going to transition to the instructional part of the video for the alto sax part for Creepy Crawlies. We start with eighth notes. There are not many eighth notes in this piece, but it, this is probably the most amount of notes at one time in the beginning. The nice thing is it's just a transition in your right hand. You keep all three fingers and your octave key down on your left hand. And we're going E, F, E, D, E, F, E, D, E, 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 okay? So I'm gonna take our metronome from 116, I'm gonna take it down to 84. That's my practice tempo I use for this. So I just changed the number on my metronome to 84 from 116. And we have the accent still on one only. And we're gonna play from the beginning. One, two, E. <laughs> And if you want to go over that more, just keep rewinding the video a little bit. You can always slow it down using the gear icon. Four and six, very, very important measures. The clarinets also play this. Do. We're going descending from A, G, F, E. We're going to play that two times. Okay, so let's put the metronome on, starting on measure four. Here we go. One, two, measure four. Measure six. Okay, and then at seven we introduce staccato notes. We've had some slurs. The staccato notes mean to separate the note. You probably heard this in when I ran through it. All right, all we're doing is using a more of a, a lighter articulation. Most saxophone students I find work best with da, 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 but we want to just separate those. Da, 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 okay? Okay, so we'll start at eight. Well, we'll start at seven. I'll count us in and we'll play it through 13. 
Seven, ready, and rest. Two, three, four. Twelve, ready, and... Okay. And now we're going to combine staccatos and slurs. If you don't know what a slur is, whether you have two notes or 42 notes, you only tongue the first note of a slur. Okay, so in the beginning we had those four notes. Da. What are those notes? Da. 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 Okay, so we're only tonguing the first of those slurs. At 15, we have two notes slurred together with a pickup. Da. So let's play pick up to 15. This is the E before 15. Here we go. Here's 14. Rest, two, three. Not all those notes were perfect, but I'm still using the staccato. 24 is the same as measure two. You can practice that on your own. We're gonna start at 32. 32, we have two half notes crescending to a forte on 33, and then we stomp our foot. If you didn't know what a creepy crawly is, creepy crawlies are bugs. And in this piece, the, the trumpets are gonna be buzzing on their mouthpieces between 25 and 33, sounding like creepy crawlies going around the room. And then we all together, the band at 34, will stomp our foot. That's supposed to squish the bug. And if you don't know, at 35, that's a funeral theme, funeral march. And we're playing these notes. Um, D, 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 F natural, E, E, D, D, C sharp, D, okay? So that's where we're going from there. We're going to start at 32 and go all the way through 38. Here's 32. One, two, D, ready. Stomp the foot. 35. Okay, and we've done this before, but we'll play just 44 to the end, a little more staccatos. 40 and 41 are the same as 12 and 13, 8 and 9, and 20 and 21, okay? So here's 44 to the end. We're ready. And one, two, ready. And if you notice, the last three notes are accented. I tried to play them a little bit louder, but I also played them full value. Da, da, da. Okay, because they are not staccato. So we don't, we want to have them sound different than the staccato notes. Overall, this was a great run of working the um, Creepy Crawlies piece. If you need to work on any more of this piece, please go back to that part in the video, or you can go back to the beginning where we do the run through. All right, if you're working for this for an upcoming performance, I wish you the best in your performance, and happy practicing. Mm -hmm.